Venice is a 16th century play written by William Shakespeare in which a merchant in Venice, Antonio, must default on a large loan provided by a Jewish moneylender, Shylock. Though the play is classified as a comedy, the play is most remembered for its dramatic scenes. Let's see how Antonio comes out of the situation of life and death through this act. Not well, Signor Antonio, you have too much effect upon the world. that you fulfill his contract. Shylock is correct, but inhuman. I know your grace has taken great pains to dissuade Shylock, and I thank you. So far, I have failed. Go and call Shylock in the discord. Bassanio, Antonio is in danger for your sake. I know it well, your grace. We must save him. Every lawyer in Venice has been consulted, and today I have received a message from the old Dr. Bellario in Mantua. Can he help? I don't know yet. Shylock, stand before me. The world thinks, and I think so too, that you demand fulfillment of your contract out of malice. It is thought that you will press until the last moment and then show mercy. I hope so. How can the flesh of Antonio help you? Your Grace, Antonio has freely entered this bond. Ask him, give me my due. If you refuse, the laws of Venice are nothing, and the freedom of the city is threatened. This is no answer to the Duke's question. Antonio has insulted me and many Jews of Venice for years. He is now at my mercy. Does that answer your question? I don't like such an answer. I did not try to please you with my choice of answer. Do all men kill the thing that they do not love? Does any man hate the thing that he does not wish to kill? Every hate does not begin as a hate. Oh, would you have a snake bite you twice then? Stop! This is useless. His grace, the duke must give his judgment. You gave me 3,000 ducats. I did. You did not repay me. Here are 6,000. No, the time is finished. I want my bond. If you show no mercy, how can you expect mercy for yourself? Me? Do I need mercy? No, indeed. I have done no wrong. I fear no judgment. Why do you ask me to change? I have bought one piece of Antonio, and now I demand delivery. Every man here has bought slaves, many slaves. You treat them worse than dogs. Shall I say to you, free your slaves, give them soft pets and dainty dishes to eat. If I say this, you laugh and say, the slaves are mine. Very well, one pound of Antonio is mine. I have bought one piece of Antonio. You have bought many men. This is a court. The Duke is our judge and I demand judgment. What is your gracious answer? This problem is too great for me. No lawyer in Venice can find an answer. So I may cut? Not yet. I received a message from Mantua. The learned Dr. Bellario is in pressure in this case. Dr. Bellario? Call Dr. Bellario. Yes, Your Grace. Where are you, Dr. Bellario? No, Your Grace. Here is a letter from me. Courage, Antonio. The Jew must murder me before he has one drop of your blood. You may soon write my obituary, Bassanio. Why do you do that, Shylock? To fulfill our contract. My heart is not so hard. This letter is from Dr. Bellario, but he says he cannot come here himself. He recommends a young doctor about the song. He says he has never known such an old head or such young shoulders. Where is the young doctor about the song? He's waiting outside the building. Bring him in. Give his judgment. Are you the young doctor Balthasar? I am your grace. Do you know about this case? 
The Lord of Dr. Bellario has explained it to me, and we have sat up many hours discussing it. Then, I trust you can find some solution. Who are you? I am Shylock. And you? I am Antonio. Show me your contract. Here it is. Yes, yes, I see. You acknowledge it, Antonio? Yes, I do. Then, the Jew must be merciful. Does the contract say I must be merciful? The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as a gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesses him that gives and him that takes. It becomes a throned monarch better than his crown. Therefore, do be merciful. I will not. I appeal to the strictest law. I want my pe I want my penalty. Can Antonio not pay? He can. It is too late. The time is over. Here is twice the sum he owes. Six thousand ducats. If that is not enough, I will pay ten times more. The law is on my side. Then change the law a little. To do a great right, do a wrong. Change the law? Never. A Daniel come to judgment. A wise young man. The contract is clear. The law is clear too. You may demand your pound of flesh. I do. I do. But still, I say, be merciful. Take twice your money. Take three times your money. And let me tear this paper. No! The tongue of man has no power to change my mind. I want my pound of flesh. His grace must give his judgment. Must I? You must. It is simple. Antonio, take off your shirt. I have. Oh, excellent young man. The chest, near the heart. The contract says, near the heart. It does. Proceed. Is the balance ready? It is there. And the doctor? Doctor? Does the contract speak of any doctor? No, but it would be a kindness on your part. I see nothing about the doctor. True, you are not bound to bring a doctor. Antonio, do you have anything to say? What can I say but goodbye? I have just married and my wife is just to be with you, Antonio. Your wife would not thank you if she heard that. You are wrong. She is a Christian and a good woman. A Christian? My daughter was stolen by a Christian. Your grace, pass the sentence. The contract calls for a pound of flesh. The law allows it and the court awards it to you. True or wise judge, how much wiser are you than your young face suggests? Pick a knife and cut the flesh. I will. But of course, take no blood. No blood? Does the contract speak of blood? No, but... Cut your flesh, but spill no blood then. If you take one drop of his blood, the law of Venice can seize your land and goods. You have appealed to the law, and that is the law. That's the law? Read for yourself. Oh, most learned judge. I accept your offer. What offer? Give me 6,000 duck, 9,000 ducats. But you have refused. Give me 6,000. Did he not refuse? <laughs> oh, great heavens. Now it's your turn, Shylock. Indeed, it's your payback time. Oh, great judge. How? Oh, great judge. Oh, great judge. It's your turn. Now. Are you? Oh. No, he has refused it. I changed my mind. You said the tongue of man could never change your mind. The contract calls for a pound of flesh. Pick your knife and cut. Give me my money. Impossible. The devil. I shall go home. Just a moment, my friend. You have appealed to the strictest law of Venice. You refuse to show mercy. Unless the Duke now shows mercy to you, the law of Venice can seize your land and goods. You have conspired against the life of Antonio, and the law of Venice punishes such conspiracy. Half your goods go to the victim Antonio, and the other half to the state of Venice. The Duke must decide. Beg his mercy.
I show you mercy before the ox. However, I told you that is half of your money. Then take my life too. Antonio, will you show mercy? No, no mercy. He tried to kill Antonio. Yes, let us be merciful. I asked the court to award me half the Jew's money. I will keep it until his death. And then I will give it to his daughter, Jessica, and her husband, Lorenzo. It shall be done. Shiloh, are you content? I am content. The court will rise.